welcome to Cora's Fantastic Honey Extraction. Cora Jean, are you ready? Yes. To flow that beautiful bee honey? Yes. All right, well, let's get started. Do your thing. How are you over there learning from mom? Ah, she knows how to do it, don't you, Cora? Cora, can you move this so I can walk right around through there? Ooh, that is some good looking honey. So Crinch took the top layer off with the knife, used the uncapping scratcher, and caught the uh, low spots in the corners. You notice she doesn't quite take it down bar to bar. That saves the depth of your comb. Crossbar, you folks that bought these large tanks, I know you're gonna love them. We sure like ours. That may last a long time. This one always has been around. This one's actually mom and dad's. Alright, Cora. Ready? That's what's nice about set these long across. ones. Is if they will set across. The narrow, they won't. So when you are uncapping, you got to do something with your frame. Cora's fantastic, honey. It's growing on Spectacular, only right, Cora? Spectacular? Fabulous? Which is it, Cora? <laughs> this is back home here. That is a chunk right there. Fancy shooting sticks trying to take over my position here. So the forks, what, forces are guides, just guides? Now the, the fork, this kind of just sets on so you don't cut too deep and then that just cuts right okay, through. Okay, so the plate sets the depth. Mm hmm And the forks Cut beef. take off the wax capping. Now the only problem with the two things, if you have pollen, it'll grab hold of it and uh, it'll rip out the comb. The other thing is, if you had some kind of cleaner that you could stick in there and clean it, to just because it gets stuck. Out. Mm hmm. Let's see, it's stuck and you, you can't see it. Help me out. All right. Maybe it's just a two person operation. That's right. Mm -hmm. 
it does a fabulous job. Yeah, it does. I'm sure some of you inventive folks out there can figure out a method of raking it and clearing it before you make another pass. Scrape those off a little, Cor. Not to be on your shirt. You gotta rake the cap out. loose or it won't blow the cell open. Now this one is too shallow really for the knife to get. Is that where the So let's see how this plate. does on the shallow. Pretty good. Because normally you would just have to use your end cap uh, scratch. But see right there where it tore that out. Where it hung it up. Mm hmm. But it, there was no pollen, but it did, it hung and then that. Did. Maybe the fork had a little build up on it. Or Maybe. Something. And it tore it instead of cutting it, which you don't want. Maybe a, you got a little dab left there, dear. Oh, the honey? Oh, right there. Can you do a whole frame of that? You can. Just, just takes a little bit longer. So You're that's scraping. too shallow? Really? It is. The knife won't get... The knife will get caught on the wood. Well, these want their honey back. I think they just want some of it. Yep, that's like, cap. We'll spin what's there. What about on this side? Yep. On that side. You can't, can you shake any of it out? Uh, is that good? I didn't see any, did you? No, is that good? Yep. Uh-oh. Yep. If you couldn't shake it out, that means there wasn't any fresh nectar mm -hmm. in it. So it's good too? Yeah. A certain percentage of it. You wouldn't want to do more than a small amount. Is that also too shallow? The knife? Mm hmm. I'll try to get you some bigger ones. Okay. This super doesn't have either of the big ones. Corinne's getting at is the uh, ones like she's working on aren't near as pleasant as the full big, right. <laughs> big old full. Look, the bees going in and checking all the flowers. That was the last super we pulled, wasn't it? They were. Yeah, that didn't have very much. This is the bottom one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like you hand it to Mama. We'll, we'll get what's in it. I'm okay. sure it's dry enough to. You want to shake it? Oh, there was something out of that. You see a little come out? Yeah. Yeah. On this side. Okay. Is there any in the other side? No. Nah, it's pretty uh, dry. We'll just set it and we'll feed it back to them. Just put it in this side. Well, you were saving the best for last, weren't you? Pretty. Mm -hmm. 
with that 18 frame extractor mama's got to get 18 frames mm -hmm. ahead before we load and then she still just got to keep right on trucking that's seven now that's got some red pollen in under it yeah right there I always like to taste the pollen, although red is not one of my favorites. What's your favorite pollen? Mm, the other colors, all but red. <laughs> Why not red? Uh, it's got a weird taste to it. Huh. Well, are you going to cut that bee? If it doesn't move. She's trying to stay ahead of the blade. It said I'll just go to the other side. You can see it getting darker as mm -hmm. it falls back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's some more red pollen. Thankfully, you got more of them real nice ones than you do them just playing around. Mm -hmm. no. I'm not sure. Yeah, I've got enough we're going to have to put in the extractor. Can you load it and not string honey from... Um, I've never loaded this. Hmm? Okay. Move the green safety latch. Which way? This way? Alright, can you fill a little and I'll load? That's some pretty honey. It is, isn't it? Do you like the light or dark honey better? Oh, the light. It's more floral. Mm hmm. Which do you like? Um, I like the light. You can see that red pollen in there. Mm -hmm. Do you need another frame? I do. Can you give me one or you make it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Back. <laughs> what are you filming over there? <laughs> he went the other direction. Oh, well, you breathe heavier out of one lung than the other, and that thing goes loud. Oh. <laughs> See, I'm glad that. Uh, <laughs> Everybody's got to see this after y'all made such fun of me. Is that extractor getting full? No. <clears throat> this thing is Mama. Willie Nelson man down turned around. You're pushing the buttons, that's why. Can't push the button. It died. What do I do? Just turn Just... it off. You can't. You can't help it. It died. Huh? We're ready to uh, bust a move here. You about have enough drip to get up to the to the top. So 
as you can all see, we're loaded. I think everything's ready to fall into place when we start to spin. We got lights and heavies. I tried to kind of strategically place them. So with the SAF, oh. we don't out. run unless we got the safeties <coughs> in play, which is that. Of course, for powered up, hit the button on the, I'm not looking, I can't do it without looking. Hit the left, right button. Yeah. See which ones we're on. Okay, you're on left spin. Uh, hit it again, go to, there you go, now you're on clockwise. And then come back and start on the minus, pushing it. Okay, back up on the plus. We must have been bottomed out. In? Yeah, keep going. Do you have to hit that going. enable button? Yes, sorry. Plus. All right, we got her moving slow. We'll see if they start <coughs> getting into their spots. So are you gonna make it? Woo, going so fast I can't tell if they're all locking in. I heard another one go in. You can hear them go in. Alright, we're on we're on premium film it when we bring it up to tell we're getting a little wobble in. Alright, I got honey hitting the barrel. I don't know that I can get that. Without making a Well and the light is reflecting. Oh uh, true. Off the, there we go, there we go. Yeah, and I think they all fell into their notches. Notches. Hit it one more time up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My pallet's not as solid as that. I don't know what I did. Oh, I know what I did with my other pallet. You can see that since it's wobbling, it's screwed down. You definitely need to put it, screw it down to the pallet. Oh, if it wasn't. Yeah, because it would be like. Well, these boards are thinner than that old big heavy thick palette one that I had. You know it's always been a dream and it's always every year I'm gonna every year I'm gonna do it. I need to drill anchor bolts into the concrete, put in flush mount threads, and then move it in here, bolt it down. When we're done vacuum the holes out and put the extractor up and out of the way. But then you won't have to why don't you go ahead and speed it up again. This might be our last, well, I think we have another speed. So after this, we don't have to flip them like we would another. We can just hit left, right? Say that again. We can just hit left instead of having to flip them, right? Well, it's you slain both side. sides because it's a radius extractor. It, it's extracting from both sides right now. It is? Yep. So will we do it left or no? Well, the great thing about it is, is we're not hand cranking it, number one. <laughs> number two, we can spin it as till there just absolutely hit anything hitting the barrel, stop it and spin it counterclockwise. Just to make and sure. Just to make sure we get it all. And we gotta get all that beautiful honey we can get, right? Yep. Especially since uh, this is your run. Yeah. You can hit it, you can see it hit in the bar barrel. Daddy, do you like the light or dark, honey? Better. I am personally a fan of the darker thing. All right, bump it up another notch. One more. Yeah, I heard her. Yeah. I heard her speed up. I can see some more honey hitting. Yeah. 
bucket. Oh, that bucket's coming up now. Have we ran at full speed before? Oh, yeah, we ran it faster than this. It's just getting we to just the gate. We just bring it up incrementally. Yeah. So that the heavies start swinging out and start catching up with the lights, and then it'll start settling and then back in. It starts. That's right, that way we're not, you know, it's not just trying to walk, walk, and start walking. See, your barrel's running real true with with your, uh, yeah. they got a word for that, cage. Uh, anyway, it's spinning real true with the, with the barrel. Yeah. And it's still swinging honey out. I think we have. What an awesome thing. No hand cranking, <laughs> stopping, resting, and cranking some more. But you can tell that it is warm in here. We don't have the air conditioning going. Yeah. Uh, but which you, it, got, you have to. You have to have it hot. Hot gets the honey out of the out of the cone. Yeah. Can you run it when it's like cold? You can run it when it's Does it just take colder? Longer? It's that's right. You might as well load it, turn it on, and go do something. And we've had it years where we're cold front comes through and we had to hook up a heater by the extractor that was just in, like a couple years yeah, ago in, in the July, like same now. year the power went off and so we were extracting by a headlamp headlamp but yeah. we were hand cranking so it didn't yeah. matter <laughs> <laughs> and you you know it was kind of like the last alaskan where everything we did that day was with a, a headlamp on i wouldn't want to do that all the time <laughs> but it's all right but we got through it. You do what you got to do. Like you get what you get and don't throw a fit. Bump it up again. Let's see what we got. Ready? Is that the last bump he can do? It's like... Are you maxed out? Uh, it like... Step flashed. us on that board over there. We got a loose board. I can feel one I'm okay. standing on. Working. The first or second? That one that the leg screwed to. I got the back one screwed to the center brace. So that one and you can see it walking a little or moving, I guess. I was like, I don't think it can really walk that much. It's like an old Maytag. That bucket's filling up. You think that's a gallon in there? Oh, yeah, you got at least that. Seeing it. Bump it up again, Okay, I think we might get it to the last I think we have one more. Leveled out quite nicely, though. Is this just to make sure this lid doesn't go open? This, it's, it's a safety feature, so if I took this and spun it over there to you, it'd shut down the machine. It would? Yeah, that's, you know, it, it's designed to keep people from getting a hand over in it while it's spinning. Just a safety feature, it's, it's probably a good idea. So it wouldn't start if it was back? It won't come on. If this is back, it won't come on. That honey it feels good when it goes by me. With the air. <laughs> you let me have that honey back. <laughs> Alright, I better get to uncapping. This is where mother and daughter are discussing the bottle size 
and how much honey quarter is going to get and how many bottles it's going to take. Now that I'm filming them, they quit talking about it. 